Hello bookworms, Tim here with my August TBR video. Um, I read an okay amount of books in July, but I really want to like up my game for August. I am very far ahead on my Goodreads goal, so I'm pleased about that and I'm not trying to like read to exceed that in any way. I just, I just love reading obviously because I make these videos all the time, so you guys should know that by now. But anyway, I'm going to show you the things that I'm planning on getting to in August. So the first and most obvious book on my list is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child because I need to read this immediately because if anyone spoils it for me, I will flip out. I went to the midnight release party last night and I loved it and everything about it was so wonderful. Like it was honestly just one of the best days in a really long time. It was so, so nice to experience that. Um, I made a really long vlog about the whole day like leading up to the release so I will be posting that very soon. As soon as I got home I started reading it. Unfortunately I started falling asleep a little bit so I couldn't just like power through and read the whole thing all night. I decided to make the executive decision and stop reading and read again once I would be able to like fully absorb and just appreciate everything that's happening in it. So for those that don't know Harry Potter and the Cursed Child takes place 19 years after the original story and it's really focusing on Harry and Ginny's son Albus Severus. Um, it's all about his journey to Hogwarts and him kind of, you know, assimilating there and finding himself and supposedly he is friends with Malfoy's son and I just love that and oh, what I've read so far I really really do enjoy so I'm really looking forward to finishing this I would not be surprised if I finish this either today or tomorrow um, but yeah absolute must read in my opinion because like Harry Potter is life so the next book that I'm planning on reading which I actually already started reading in July but I didn't finish it um, is The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. This is one of the books that was in my video for the top 16 books that I want to read in 2016. So I'm very pleased that I'm finally getting to this one. I am really enjoying the story so far, but I just haven't finished it yet because it's a very long book. Um, I think it's about, it's over 500 pages and so far I've read about 200 pages. It's really, really interesting. It follows a guy named Locke Lamora, who is kind of like the leader of this band of thieves. They compare themselves to Robin Hood, except they're not actually stealing from the rich for the poor. They're stealing for the rich for themselves. So that's a little bit different, but they're just very interesting. And I think Locke Lamora is a very fascinating character. I'm really looking forward to seeing where the story is going and I'm just so glad that I finally decided to pick this one up because I've been in such a fantasy mood lately. This is one that I'm definitely going to finish in August. Then next I have another fantasy book to read and that is A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. This is the second book in the Ember in the Ashes series and I loved the first book so much as you may have seen in my July wrap up or the Spines with Wines book of the month. So I, as soon as I finished reading that, I really wanted to start the second one, but I didn't want to start it before we did our book club because I didn't want to potentially spoil anything and forget like which book certain events happened in or like just have knowledge of it because I'm the worst liar in the world. So I didn't want to be like, I hope this happens and then know that it happens. So yeah, so that's why I decided to wait on this one. But this one actually comes out on August 30th, like right at the end of the month. So I wanted to read it and review it, but also I just need to find out what's gonna happen in the story because it was so good. And I cannot believe that I waited so long to finally start reading the series. Then I am planning on reading 99 Days by Katie Cotugno. This is a, uh, the only contemporary book on my TBR as of right now, could change, who knows. But I really enjoy Katie Katugno as a person. Like her Twitter is really fun and she has a blog and she updates like pretty consistently on Fridays where she posts five good things that happened to her within the week. And I just really enjoy her writing style like for herself personally. So I feel like her books would be something that I would enjoy too. And I just feel like I've been following her and enjoying what she puts out online so much that it's time that I read one of the things that she's actually had published. So I want to do that this month. I was able to pick up this book on a Kindle sale for like $1.99. So that was really good. Um, so I'll probably end up reading this like pretty soon. I hope it's good and I also think that the cover is really cute. And her next book, Fireworks, has been announced and the cover has been released and it's actually very similar to the 99 Days cover. So 
I, I like that she's, like, sticking with the cover theme. And, yeah, if there's just, like... I feel like I've hyped this up for myself and it's time to get to it now. And then finally, I am planning on reading Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo, which is another book that was in my top 16 books that I want to read in 2016. Um, I've been wanting to get to this one for a really long time, but I haven't done it because I constantly flip flop about whether I should read the Grisha trilogy first or if I should read this and forget about the Grisha trilogy for the time being. I read, I read the first book in the Grisha trilogy and I didn't love it as much as other people seemed to. Um, so that's why I haven't continued with it. And then I'm like, I should just read Six of Crows. And then I'm like, no, I shouldn't. I should read the next book in the uh, Grisha trilogy because I'll be spoiled for things. So I'm always like, what do I do? But the decision has been made. We're reading this for Spines with Lines in August. So I will be reading Six of Crows finally. And I'm really excited because it's been described as a kind of Ocean's Eleven-esque um, heist novel, which just sounds really good to me and I can't wait to read it and I can't wait to find out what all the hype is about and I'm really excited because then I'll be all caught up for Crooked Kingdom when that comes out in September. So those are all of the books that I'm planning on reading this August. I'm definitely going to read more than those five, but those are the five that I definitely want to get to. And it's not like every other month where I'm like, these are the books that I'm going to read and then I read different books. Like, I really want to read these five. So I'm going to try to start with them and then work my way onto other books. So let me know what you're planning on reading this August and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye!